Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video talking all about this hair and this is from the RPG show and I wanted to basically just do this video to show you guys what I do when I take the wig out of the box um, and just wear it straight out of the box because a lot of times when I get wigs I don't really feel like washing them and restyling them and doing all that a lot of times when I get a wig I'm excited I want to try something new I want to put it on and rock it so um what's funny is I actually took this wig out and started styling it and then I was like wait 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 I forgot I wanted to record it I did not do like an unboxing so I'm gonna show you guys the box just pretend I'm unboxing it okay we're just gonna pretend it'll come in a DHL package which is international shipping shipping isn't bad it usually comes within a couple of days depending on what kind of order you get if you get an order like this which is a custom colored wig it does take some time because they have to dye it usually it's about a two week wait on the custom orders like this if you're gonna have it colored like this if you're gonna get a regular stock colored wig usually you don't have to wait that long but because it is a custom colored unit it's gonna take some time your wigs will usually come in a box like this um, my first wig and RPG show both have these boxes. I love these boxes because they're really, really sturdy. It takes a lot of pressure to crush this. You will have your wig case. It comes in this netting. You can reuse this. You can put your wig back in here and store it in here like this. I keep these bags, put the hair back in the bag so it doesn't get tangled up and nasty. You also get a brush. I love these brushes because they're really nice. They make the hair like full and voluptuous, especially if there are, there's curls, you can just brush the wig out um, when you get it and it looks really good. Also comes with a wig cap. I prefer the netted wig cap, so I usually don't use these type of wig caps. So it comes with ear tape, just in case you want to um, put an elastic band in your wig to make it even more secure so that it lays completely flat without having to glue it down or anything. You can just um, like measure this to your head and see where you want to put it and you sew it down on the inside. So you can like sew it down and that way it'll pull the wig and tighten it to your head and that way it'll be as flat as possible without any gluing. It shows you how to how to do it and everything. So it comes with a little RPG show book and it has reviews and pictures and all kinds of good stuff in here. So I have the Touched by Tim wig and uh, that's his page and it shows all his info. You know what you're getting, you know how to work with your wig, you know everything that you need to know is in this book, okay? So you won't be deceived, lost, confused, or anything. You ain't gotta click on a video, you can just read it in here. Yeah, that's all that comes with your wig. And then this is the wig on my head right now. How do we get from here? to here. When I took the wig out of the box, put it on my head just to make sure everything looked decent. It fit pretty nice, but the top of the wig was not flat like this. It was kind of like pushed up like this a little bit. I put the wig on a mannequin head. So here I have the wig on the mannequin head and I'm basically just gonna start styling it. So I remove any hairs that are in the way that don't look right. I will pluck the the front of the wig if I need to, but I usually don't like plucking the front of the wig because I mess it up. Most of the wigs from RPG Show and my first wig come pre-plucked now already, so you don't have to worry about plucking the front of the wig because they do pre-pluck the wigs for you. The lace like matched my head and it was like not too thick in the front, so um, I move the part and then I get my curling wand and flatten out the wig and I just go over the part a couple times to make sure that it lays completely flat. Then I move on to putting the wig on my head so all I do is I like to slick down the front of my hair into like this middle part kind of section piece and I will do that with my got to be glued and then I get the got to be glued gel and I'll spray that right on the part area where my wig is going to lay this will help my wig to lay flat it won't move throughout the day. It's not gonna slide back or anything. It's gonna stay completely in place. Of course, you wanna do the adjustable straps in the back. So you wanna adjust it to your head to make sure that it fits really snug. I, this wig is a lot tighter than usually my wigs are. Like my wigs usually don't fit me. This one fit pretty good. I mean, I did adjust the straps a lot, but it's not like super, super big in the back. So that's good. I let the glue get a little tacky. Then I'll put the wig on my head and I lined it up where the part should be. Now you can just use the elastic band method to get your wig to lay that flat and it won't, you won't have to glue it or anything. I prefer the glue because I don't like using an elastic band and sewing stuff down, I'm lazy. Now, 
After that, I'm going to go in with my Studio Fix powder. This is my face powder um, and it is just a powder foundation. And I'll go over the part with the powder foundation. So I start from my hair and go backwards and like make the part more visible so that it looks more natural like a real part. And that's pretty much it. Um, it doesn't really take a lot of effort for me to wear the wigs because I feel like RPG show wigs are ready they're just ready like you can take them out of the box and wear them straight out of the box and most of the time they're ready now you can fit, go back and fix some curls if you want to recurl it you can straighten it um or wash it even if you feel like washing it and all of that giving it a little bit of a deep condition that'll really get the hair to be as soft as you want it to be but for me personally i wear the wig straight out the box because i feel like you can do that. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk to you guys about. Just let you know about the wig itself. Let you know how I put it on and everything. Straight out of the box. If you guys want me to do a whole video on how to like revive old wigs. How to wash them, condition them, straighten them. It's really simple. It's basically just like doing your own hair. Um, but I can do that for you guys if you want me to. Yeah, I love this blue hair y'all. Like I've always wanted to be a comic book character. Like a metahuman or like a superhero or something. I feel like Marvel needs like a black girl superhero superhero don't you think I love the blue it's a little bit dramatic for every day I don't know if I'll be rocking this on a day-to-day -day basis but I mean when I'm hitting the city or something best believe I'm gonna have this blue hair on in the summertime okay yeah um if you guys have any questions please let me know I will be sure to answer all of your questions if you need any details about the particulars of this wig I put them on the screen at the beginning of the video but I will make sure to leave all the information down in the description box just in case you guys want to know any details about the length of the hair the cap size all that stuff all that technical stuff that you guys need to know um but that's pretty much all I'll see you guys in my next video and that's it bye Thank you.